Hey guys, welcome back to Dog Six Studio. I'm Glenn. Today in the studio, we're gonna be hitting up Star Wars Legion's TX225 GAV Occupier Assault Tank. Pretty cool. Great game, guys. Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Really tactical. Uh, we did Luke uh, a couple weeks ago. I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, uh, we're going to do some simple techniques, dry brushing, airbrushing, and just some simple brush work. Nothing crazy today. If you don't have an airbrush, that's okay. You can do most of the work with brush and, and dry brushing. So uh, let's go check out those techniques. Oh, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. All right, let's get it there. Knock it out. Star Wars Legions TX-225 GAV with Occupier Combat Assault Tank Unit Expansion. There it is, guys. Been talking about it for a little bit. We're going to knock this out. We're going to open this box up, see what's inside, see what kind of goodies you get with it. Uh, then we're going to put this together, whatever that, whatever that entails. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look. And then we will prime it. We will zenith it or highlight it however you want with the white ink. And then we will move on and throw some paint on it. All right, guys, so let's get to it. There it is. All right, what do we have here? Oh, got some tread, the guns, some turret caps, looks like. Uh, cargo. Oh, there's the tank. Pretty much already built. Look at that. Quick and simple. What do we have here? We got a base. That's good. Uh, whoop, come on, we've got, what else we have here? Oh, we got some cards, and we got some tokens. What kind of cards we're looking at? It's always good to know, all right? We have First Sergeant Arambum, RMAB. Mm -hmm. Imperial Hammers, Elite Armor Pilot, Imperial Hammers Elite Armor Pilot. DLT-19 rifle pencil. Oh, there's an upgrade card. RT-97C rifle pencil. There's a new upgrade. Uh, HQ uplink. Oh, that's interesting. All right, here we go. Here's the tank. Well, arsenal. Weak point. Sides. While defending. Okay. All right. Good deal. What else is this? Oh, here we go. There's the fun stuff. The dudes. The troopers. Stormtroopers. All right, well, that looks about it. Let's uh, let's put this thing together. Oh, here we go. Let's take a look at this real quick. Always got to check this out. I like to see how they did it. Might as well let you look at it, too. There we go. There's the instructions to put that, that tank together. Pretty straightforward and simple. What I like about this stuff, a little more detail on the back, a little more. All right, let's, uh, let's get this guy together.
like and subscribe. Hey guys, also, when I do the sponge work, usually uh, one of the miniatures, uh, this one actually came from a bolt action, but it comes with the with the, this little foam sponge. It's perfect for doing weathering on the edges. Pinch off a little piece and put it on a little, little pinch stick. That way you can just do this, you know? Real simple, real easy technique. All right guys, we're gonna hit this up with the, with the whole red, uh, the, the containers or canisters. We're gonna just do the a little sponge here. Yeah. We're gonna hit that up. A little sponge. All right. Uh, load that sponge up with paint. Put this out of the way. Let's just just barely touch it. See. We're gonna do the second layer of sponge with the squig orange. We're just gonna lightly tap this around where we did the whole red, right? Get a little more, a little highlight, a little pop, right? And then when we do the wash, it'll really stand out nice. See, real simple. Let that dry, gives a little, little bit of color, a little worn, a little beat up. Now we're gonna go in with some of this uh, rubber highlight. I'm gonna mix it in with that rubber and then we're gonna do a little more dry brushing.
Well, there you have it, guys. Star Wars Legions TX-225 GAV with Occupier Assault Tank. Great game, great little model. Go check it out. Game's really tactical. Uh, we did some uh, simple airbrushing, some simple dry brushing and regular brushing. Try to keep it simple in here. Uh, if you don't have an airbrush, that's okay. You don't need one. You can just do the dry brushing and the wash. It, it makes it pop really well. There's many ways you can weather these these tanks. I started out doing World War II tanks, and, and I did you know the little details and the exaggeration and, and, and made them a little more gritty. With this, I didn't go so gritty. I wanted it to look like it more came out of the factory or just landed, came off the spaceship, and hit the ground ready for battle you know it still has a little bit of little dust and stuff on it. it's not quite been through the war anyway I, I like that style but guys please like and subscribe it really helps support the channel and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching